or wish he had after he died. Yeah, right. That's the choice. Yeah. Amen? Amen? My people must hear my voice. That's what God says. I'm talking about hearing and doing. Yes. Yes. Hearing and doing. God's always given us directions. Yes. Always. Yes. He owns us and we should hear his voice. Yes, Lord. He's always speaking to us. Are you listening? Amen. Are you listening to God's voice? In James verse 26, it says, If anyone among you thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his own heart, this one's religion is useless. It's in vain. It's a waste of time. You might as well not even do it. And everybody, everybody in this room, everybody I ever met my whole life has trials. Amen. Everybody got yeah. trials in life. Amen. I haven't met anybody that has it. Amen. Trials let us know whether we're having a good life yes. or whether we're having a bad life. Amen. How we handle our trials tells us who we are. Right. How we handle them tells us who we are. Come on. For example, most people think when somebody dies, it pulls the family closer together. Uh -uh. That's what everybody thinks. Right. They think, oh man, we get together, poor mom is gone, poor yeah. dad is yeah. gone, yeah. and we'll all just love on each other more <coughs> because they're not here with us. Right. But many times, what usually happens is just the opposite. All right, yeah. The death in the family reveals how dysfunctional the family is. On, the same thing goes for how we believe in God. Our trials show us how much we believe God or how little faith we have in God. Yes, yes. James speaks of trials as testing our faith. What do you get when you squeeze the lemon? <laughs> what do you juice. get when you squeeze lemon? No, you don't get lemon juice. We get whatever's inside of that lemon. That's oh. what we get when the lemon is squeezed. Oh, my goodness. God wants what's inside <laughs> each one of us to come out. <laughs> but you must hear his voice to follow his direction. Come on. Amen. Amen. You got to hear his voice. Mm. We must hear his voice yeah. to do what God says to do. All right. So are you tuned in to the right channel? Mm. James speaks about how easy it is for us to deceive ourselves. All right. mm. When we say we trust in the goodness and the graciousness of God, but we don't actually live by that trust. We're deceived. Come on, then. Mm. We're deceiving ourselves. Deceiving. Nobody else is doing it. We're doing it to ourselves. Right. We say we trust him until some major problem comes along in our lives. Gotcha. Right. And when we deceive ourselves, we're not able to receive from God right. what he has for us to receive. We can't get his comfort. We can't receive his peace when we deceive ourselves. We can't get it when we, we live our lives as if he's not really present, not really active in our lives. We have got to tune our ears to the voice of God. And like I prayed, that word goes out and it comes right back. None of us are immune. So are you tuned in? Or do you hear a lot of static when you listen to God? He says, James 1, 27, to visit orphans and widows in their trouble and to keep oneself yeah, unspotted yeah. from the world. That's it. That's you you got to do it all. So are you being distracted? Is there too much static in your life? Sometimes we even distract ourselves. That's just what Satan wants. Right. He's not having much trouble with that. No. I can't talk about everybody else, but I can talk about me. I got cable. I got satellite. I'm newly indoctrinated into the smartphones. Man, I just, I used to hate to see them just, all those phones just going. You know, you're talking to somebody and they looking at their phone. Now I do a little bit. I do prayer. <laughs> got Netflix, video games, the internet. Uh oh, got everything. We're distracted. Come on. Are we tuned in? What are we tuned into? All right. Is it God? All right. Or is it texting? Woo. Mm. When James wrote this letter, orphans and widows were the powerless of society. They didn't have any status. 
They had no influence, nobody to take care of them. And James tells his readers that they should visit these people in the midst of their affliction. I was blessed to hear his sister say how she's been blessed all these years. She's been a widow. In their very place of pain, we should visit them. They're not supposed to wait until these children and women are in a better, more respectable place. They're not to wait until the orphans and widows are in a position to give them something back. They're not supposed to wait. God wants us to obey him. When we visit the orphans and widows in their affliction, there's no advantage to the person that's doing the visiting. The advantage is supposed to be for the widow and the orphan. This is true religion. Yes, sir. This is true religion. Yes, sir. When we trust God to be our source. Hallelujah. Our only source. That's what God is. Our only source of life, of peace, of rest, and even of our worth. When they talk about self-worth. Right. My worth is in Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Amen? Amen. Then we can enjoy the wonderful freedom of serving others with no need to look for something to come back to. You. That's why that's true religion. Yes, Lord. That's true religion because we're seeking nothing in return. Amen? Amen. Come on now. He says, visit the orphans and the widows yes. in their time yes. of trouble. Yes. And to keep oneself unspotted yes. from the world. Amen. That's a command from Adonai, yes. our Lord and our Master. Come on. Our only purpose on earth is to serve Preach. Him. Preach. Here in James, we can see deeper into God's great heart. We can yes. truly receive his overpowering love because we're not distracted by looking for something for ourselves. We don't need anything for ourselves in order to serve God. To visit orphans and widows in their trouble and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. All we need is the voice of God. That's all we need to hear the voice of God. We can't listen to God if we don't do what we're all here to talk about. Amen. Pray. Amen. We gotta pray. Amen. Amen. We can't hear his voice. If you really want to do what God says, you'll fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, which says, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Yes. Amen. Yes. And in the same book of the Bible, James tells us not to be double-minded. That's it. Don't look to the world for your honor or life. The world can't tell you who you are. That's it. The world can't tell you. All right. Now. The world can't tell you what the good life is. Right. Only Jesus can tell you. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. Hallelujah. And we're so distracted sometimes by all the stuff. All the stuff that just keeps coming at us. Yes, just yes. keeps coming at us. Yes. It's like we might as well be telling God, hey, I'm not listening. All right. We're not listening like we should. I had a, a, a picture up there of a monkey with, with his hands and his ears saying, la, 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 I'm not listening. <laughs> That's like we're not reading his word like we should. We can't do what he says if we don't know what he'll say. Say it. You can't do it. I can imagine God asking like the Verizon guy, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? He wants your attention. Yeah. He wants you to hear him. Yes. Amen. Amen. And in order to actually hear from God, we have to know something about God's character. We have to develop an understanding of who God is and the way that God does things. There's so much. There's plenty of distractions. Yes, Lord. It's so easy to get distracted if we let it Hallelujah. happen to us. Hallelujah. Mm. This is a word for all of us. None of us are immune to this. All right. I don't believe there's one person in this room that does not have a problem every so often with distraction. Mm. Come on. Now. Fortunately for us, everything we need is available in the Bible. The Bible's got a lot of detail about how you can expect God to react, yes. what kind of expectations he has for us, and most specifically, how he expects us to treat other people. Amen. It's right in the Bible. It's right in the Word. 
and I believe given this age, this is the best book that's ever been written. Come on. Come on Say amen if you agree with me. Amen. 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 The Bible helps us to hear God better. Yes. How can we know God without his word? Oh, Jesus. Mm. Knowing what the Bible says is actually turning up the volume of God's voice. Mm. Knowing what the Bible says, says helps us to know exactly who God is. Yes. Yes. Knowing what the Bible says helps us pray more effectively. More effective. mm. And yes. knowing what the Bible says enables us to pray God's own word. Yes. And his word never returns to him void. Come on now. Amen. 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 Let's look at that. It's in Isaiah 55 and 11. Amen. God's word never returns to him void. 55 and 11. And it says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which it which I please, yes. and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sin it. Yes, mm. So God sends his word out. Send it. And all we got to do is stay in the word. Mm. And let him use us to send his word out. Right. That's what we're supposed to be doing. That's right. Amen? Yes. Amen. James shows us the difference between true religion and religion that is in vain. So it would seem that when he speaks of bridling your tongue, he's encouraging his readers to restrain themselves from using their tongues to bring about their own advantage or to get others in the world to give them recognition, status, power, or worth. When we use our tongues for these things, we deceive ourselves because we're using our tongues to gain what can only be gotten from God. All right. Glory to God. I'm talking about being doers of the word yes. and not hearers only. Mm. I'm All talking right. about us not deceiving Ooh. ourselves. Mm -hmm. All we got to do is do it God's way. Mm. And those that have their Bibles turn to 1 Corinthians 10 31. And let's look at doing it God's way. 1 Corinthians 10, 31. Say amen when you have it. Amen. Now I'm just going to paraphrase. Let me go to it too. 1 Corinthians 10, 31. Yes, Lord. Yes. 10, 31. Hallelujah. Praise God. I had the whole scripture on the slide. Praise God. 1 Corinthians 10, 31. Amen. It says, Whether, therefore, ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all. all. Say do all. Do all. To the glory of God. To the glory of God. We're supposed to do everything yes. to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Jesus did it. Yes. He did what the Father told him to do. Hallelujah. Even though he knew it was going to hurt physically. Thank you, Lord. He said, not my will, but thy will be done. Yes. Yes. Jesus is the word made flesh. He lived the will of the Father, yes, no Lord. matter what the cost. No matter what. Just do the word. Hallelujah. That's all we got to do is do what God tells us mm -hmm. to do. That's it. His will be done. That's right. His will. When we exercise true religion, we're in God's will. Hallelujah. We no longer see ourselves as hapless victims. Yes, Lord. Or tragic heroes. Oh, Jesus. He's Adonai. He's our Lord and our Master. Yes. We only exist to do His will. Yes, Lord. Come on, now. Father. There's Glory. only one Hallelujah. way to live. Rather than seeing ourselves as victims or heroes, mm. we're choosing yeah. to live as if we are the beloved sons and daughters of our gracious Heavenly yes. Father, yes. who is with us in the most intimate way, whatever the circumstances. Hallelujah. I had a scripture Glory. that I got that uh, made me think of that. And it's uh, Romans. Glory Let me go God. to this. I'm going to read from Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. Amen? You Amen. have it? Yeah. It says, verse 14, For as many are, as, as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Yes, sir. And that's what I have here. He's transforming us to be in every way 
his mature children. For ye have received not, you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. He's our Father. Yes, Lord. He's Jesus' Father, and Jesus lived to do his yes. will. Yes. We should live to do the will of the Father. And we're here for prayer. So uh, verse uh, 17 says, And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, yes. and joint heirs with Christ. If so, be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Yes, Lord. Likewise, verse 26, likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Lord Jesus. The Spirit will help you. The Holy Spirit will help you to do what you need to do. Amen. For we know not what we should pray for as we are. But the Spirit itself yes, make an yes. intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. All right, now. Amen? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. God's way begins with His Word. Yes, Lord. We're believing in life. We belong to Him. We're walking by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. And the key to the kingdom of heaven is whatever we do, we do all to the glory of God. We got to do it now. We got to obey God. And we got to be doers of the word and not hearers only. Now, I like all of you to repeat this confession after me. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I will submit to you. I will submit to you. You are my Lord and Master. You are my Lord and Master. And I will do all. I will do the things. I will do the things that you have asked me to do. That you have asked me to do while on this earth. While on this earth. I will trust you. I will trust you to give me the power. Give me the power and ability. And ability to accomplish those things. To accomplish those things. I decree and declare this. I decree and declare this. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. 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 We pray that today on the way here. God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yes, Lord. Prayer matters. It's the most important thing yes. we can ever do yes, in our lives. So listen to God's Hallelujah. voice. Hear what he says Hear. and then do it. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah.